Now to I Team 8 and the fear for a wave of evictions in Indiana. The federal government is sending more than $400 million to the state to help cover missed rent payments, but getting it to the families who need it has proven difficult in much of Indiana. I Team 8's Jasmine Miner explains. As of September 1st, the federal government has given out $450 million to the state of Indiana, but we're finding that only 19% of that money has actually been spent. That's one in five dollars. But if you look specifically at the city of Indianapolis, the city has been able to give out nearly 70% of its money. And today I'm told it's getting closer to 100%. Well, I spoke to people at the Urban League and right here at the John Bonner Center who tell me that it's because they already had a system in place while others Others may be playing catch up. James Taylor says they were ready before the pandemic hit. We've leveraged technology to be able to do things at scale. The CEO of John Bonner Community Center says the network of community centers in Indy is what helped them get the rental assistance money out as fast as possible, starting with making the application process easy. We designed the websites to be mobile enabled. So that because 78% of the people that have responded are using uh, smartphones. They can take pictures of documents, upload it, and he says it automatically codes the application into the nearest community center for that person. Tony Mason, CEO of Urban League, says the structure has saved thousands. Had we not had this program, uh, we could very easily count the nearly 13,000 that have been helped this year likely would be either evicted or you know, or perhaps looking for housing elsewhere. A U.S. Treasury Department report issued last month and obtained by IT Mate shows more than 8,000 families statewide received federal rental assistance money in August. About one in four of those lived in Indianapolis. But evictions are still happening. Housing is the key. We have 27,000 individuals on the Marion County docket up to be uh, evicted. Activist and CEO of Circle Up Indy, James Wilson, says the lack of access to a stable economic environment plays a big part in the increase of violence in Indy, with the city surpassing 200 homicides already this year. The violent wave is happening because I am not stable. If I'm not stable, I'm going to have to do what I do to create that stability. Perhaps 50 percent of the money that they make goes towards their housing costs. That leaves very little cushion for even the basic necessities. Is the rental assistance money enough? The rental assistance money is a tool to help people to get through this moment. What it is going to take is a real overhaul of a number of systemic issues and challenges that we face. James Taylor tells me the reason counties outside of Indy and around the state may have struggled getting that rental assistance money out to people in need is because they didn't have these community centers, this network in place. And in his words, he says the traditional systems weren't built to handle the tsunami of economic peril that has come out of this pandemic. Well, he urges people in need to get plugged into your nearest community center in order to get help. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Jasmine, thank you. A leading Democratic state senator says that he wants to see Indiana speed up its rental assistant checks. Uh, state Senator Fatty Kadora tells our All Indiana Politics team today that too many families still face the threat of eviction. We have over 65,000 Hoosier families that are at risk of being evicted. But the money is not going out of the door as quickly as possible from state agencies and from cities across the state to truly help Hoosier families. So I think the programming and the disbursement of these dollars can be more efficient. Kadora says that the state needs to improve its application and approval systems for rental assistance.